back to my channel. Let's say I did a makeup tutorial for Coachella or any music festival that you guys might be going to. I literally got so carried away with this. It was so, so much fun to film. If you guys want to become a kiddo and join the fan, you guys can hit the subscribe button right down there or you guys can click it right here to subscribe to my channel. And that'd be really cool because then we could be like a big old family. <laughs> so I'm going to stop rambling and let's get on to the video. I even did like a middle part for this tutorial and I am feeling it. So we're going to start off with priming the eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Loraca Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This has like taken the place of my favorite eyeshadow primer. It literally lasts all day. So I'm just putting this from my lid to my brow as always. I am using a ton of Tarte products, but Tarte is not sponsoring this video. They actually don't even know I'm making this video. Um, but they did send me a bunch of new products and I've been trying them out and I'm like literally obsessed with them. So I'm first gonna start off with eyeshadow from this Tarte palette. It's the Showstopper Clay Palette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 217 and I'm gonna take this color right here. Now it's a lot more pigmented than you think it is, so you don't need a lot. What I'm gonna do with this is just work it in my crease in windshield wiper motions and then kind of just turn the brush on its side and just sweep it in like this. So once we have the transition shade in place, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is putting a base down on the lid. And this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade, let's see, Toughest Hope. So I'm just gonna take this on a flat shader brush. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand so it's not too dark. Yes, this is what your hand looks like when you do makeup tutorials. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my lid up to where we put the transition color. And really all that this is gonna do is help the next shade that we put on last a little bit longer and have a little bit of a base underneath to be a little bit more true to its color. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this palette and I'm going to take, oh, I, can't, I don't know how to hold this. I wish it had names. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It reminds me a little bit of Sable by MAC, so if you have that, um, I'm pretty sure they're really similar. What I'm gonna do with this, oh, I forgot a step, whatever, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put it on my lid and then work it into where my crease meets. Look how gorgeous that color is, oh my gosh. And then kind of drag it out just a little bit to make that a little bit more elongated on the crease. Now back to the step that I forgot to do, I'm gonna take the NYX eyeshadow pencil in the shade Milk, and with this, I'm gonna put it on my inner corner and then right underneath my eyebrow. Now I'm just gonna go in with a concealer brush and blend this down. Now I'm gonna go in with a 222 by MAC. They discontinued this, which is really upsetting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade right next to the one that we used on the lid, this one right here, and get that on the brush. And I'm just gonna put this in the hollow of my crease. And oh, I guess the hollow of my eye, which kind of is my crease. Anyway, what this does is it's just gonna break up the makeup a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and I'm gonna take the highlight from the palette, the illuminator, you don't need a lot, like I probably just took way too much. And I'm gonna put this on, yeah, I took too much. I'm gonna put this on the inner corner. Look how beautiful. And then right underneath the brow. I'm gonna take a flat topped brush like this. This is from Crystal Sense. And I'm gonna take the transition shade and the shade that we use on the lid and mix them together. That's my dog barking. What I'm gonna do with this is run it along my lower lash line meeting the inner corner. Now we're gonna go in and do liner. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I did a pretty big exaggerated wing, and this took me like five minutes to do. So I'm gonna take my time and really try and get it nice and even. But I have a new product that I wanna talk to you guys about because it's really, really awesome. It's this Tarte Clay Paint Liner in the shade Black, and it's just basically a gel liner, but in tube form, and it comes with this brush and it's really 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 easy to apply like i wish i had this when i did my how to do winged eyeliner video which i'll have linked down below or you guys can click it it's up on the screen right now um but i wish i like had that had this for that video because i wish i could use this in it instead of the liquid liner lower lash line blank you can put a white there you can really do whatever you want I'm gonna put a green and this is emerald by M cosmetics taking the flat shader brush again and the transition color and the lid color once again I'm just going to drag the emerald green down 
and smudge those colors together so we have a smoky lower lash line. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then apply mascara. This is the Tarte Smart Amazonian Clay Mascara. All right, so you don't need that much mascara because we're gonna go into thick eyelashes right now. And these are my favorite. These are the Ardell 120 Demis. They are the best eyelashes ever. I'm just obsessed with them. They look good for every day. They look good for dramatic looks. I have an old video on how to apply fake eyelashes. You guys can click it, it's on the screen right now or I'm gonna have it linked down below. Um, but it's on there for your convenience and to speed up the video so I can just pop these on real quick. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lower lash mascara. This is the Clinique Lower Lash Mascara. I'm gonna tight line my tight line with a black real fast. Um, I'm going to contour a little bit. This is the Too Faced Chocolate So Light Bronzer. And I'm just gonna put this a little higher up than my actual cheekbones just to raise up my face a little bit. And I'm just using this with a flat foundation brush. Then I'm gonna take the Tarte. I know, I swear to God, it's not sponsored. I just really do like these products. I'm gonna take this Tarte, what is this? I think it's the Park Ave Princess. So I'm gonna take this on a big brush. Bronze over my temples a little bit. Down my cheek my jaw just a little bit just to warm up the skin this isn't really adding anything other than just warmth to my complexion for blush i'm going to take this one by mac it's in the shade super continental and then what i'm going to do with this is start to swirl it on the temples and then work it down to the apple and then we're going to go back in with the glorious highlighter okay much and I'm just going to place this on the top of my cheekbones. Just, oh, that highlight. I'm literally living for it. For lips, I got these two in the mail and I tried like one on the bottom, one on the top and then I like mixed my lips together and I loved it. So it's the, they're both tart. It's one's empowered and the other is in serene, I think. I mean, I'm not going to the English language. Um, and what I'm going to do is put the pinky one on bottom and then the nude one on top. Um, now I'm going to move on to little fun face decorations for Coachella. Really quickly before I begin with this part, I know a lot of people tend to get offended by this and saying that it is insulting cultures and I just want to say that in no way, shape or form am I trying to insult anyone's culture. I think this is like a really fun thing to do for makeup festivals, makeup festivals for music festivals. And like I said, my intention is not to um, insult anyone's culture or offend anyone. That'd be the last thing I ever want to do. So. Um, with that being said, let's move on. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter on the side of my face over here. So what I'm gonna do for the glitter is I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter glue. This is by Too Faced. Um, I've used this as an eyeshadow base one time just to see like how powerful it was. It's powerful guys, like whatever you put down does not budge in the least bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of this roll on shimmer and just start shimmering that on like this. So I'm gonna take the next glitter in no. I'm gonna dip my brush in the glitter and literally just go for it. All right, so now we're gonna do the white dots on this side. I'm just taking a white eyeshadow base and I'm just gonna take the back of a brush. I'm just gonna take this and just dot it. You can do a bunch of different things. You guys can do it like this, across the top. You can do it on the sides. I kinda wanna do across the top now. This is so fun. I'm enjoying this so much. I'm gonna add glitter to this side because I'm really feeling it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on any sort of social media links down below, such as Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat. Also, don't forget to subscribe right down there, and also don't forget to watch this video right over here. So I will talk to you guys on Thursday. See ya!